What the fox is up, all you fabulous Fox fans? So glad you could join me for today's episode of What the Fox Friday Frightener. I'm going to be talking about a Hollywood cult that is apparently eating human flesh at an annual feast, according to an interview with Katy Perry. Let's jump down the rabbit hole. Okay, Fox fans, I have a special What the Fox Friday Frightener for you today. Imagine you meet your celebrity idol. And not just meet them, but they invite you to an exclusive event at their house. When you arrive at this event, you're the only one there, alone with your celebrity idol. You are so excited. They offer you a drink. You graciously drink the drink, not even thinking about it. You're talking to your celebrity idol until you start to feel sleepy and you fall asleep and you never wake up again unless you do wake up again and there's some big guy chopping you up with a cleaver because you have become this celebrity's meal. That's right, according to an interview that Katy Perry did on a French radio program in France, cannibalism is taking place in Hollywood. Now, the interview started off innocently enough but took a dark turn when Katy Perry started talking about how cannibalism was way more popular than the host may think. She told the host that human meat is considered the absolute best meat in the world among the top celebrities in Hollywood. Though she doesn't name anybody directly, she goes on to talk about how cannibalism has just gotten a bad rap. Just a bad rap. It's actually really cool. And she blames that bad rap on squeamish Christians with their hypocritical virtues and morals. Now there's a lot of things that you can say is negative about Christianity, but their virtues and morals about eating other people, definitely not one of them. Now, get this box fans. Perry says that human meat is full of vitamins and minerals that you can't get in any other animal and it is super good for you. What did Katy Perry say when the host probed deeper into what those benefits are? She simply replied with, the people who are doing it are living way longer and are way healthier. The host was absolutely shocked when Katy Perry looked him in the eye and told him that she thought he would appreciate cannibalism being French because it's good food and it's part of their culture. He just needed to get over his bullshit bourgeois morals. Now, there's people out there that could say bad things about the French. I can definitely tell you that their views on eating people, again, just like the Christians, not one of those bad qualities. She finishes up the interview by going into a detailed story of her first cannibalistic feast at a Hollywood party. I'm gonna read that to you now. There's a group of old Hollywood guys who have an annual dinner party where the main dish is human. Every guest is allowed to bring a plus one. Can you imagine being that plus one? What do you say when you find out what you're there for? You're obviously gonna be forced to eat human meat or maybe even become the main dish. That's a horrible situation to be in. But let me continue. A few years ago, when I was new in town, I got invited by a friend. I shouldn't say his name, I guess. <laughs> of course you shouldn't say his name. You're talking about eating people. Most people probably don't want other people to know that they're eating people. Each year, a new host is selected for the following year by drawing straws. You know? No, Katie. I don't know what it's like to draw straws to have to kill a human and serve it to other people. Please, go on. It is the new host's responsibility to provide the main course, and it has to be human. If he can't find a suitable person to serve as the meal, well, the joke, I think it's a joke, is that the host will be eaten instead. That's the joke. If you don't find somebody to murder and eat for everybody else, then you're the one that gets murdered and eaten by everybody else. I was a bit squeamish about the idea of going to this dinner party, but when I heard who else was going, I jumped at the chance. I was like, People die all the time and their bodies just go to waste. If we can use their organs for medical purposes, why shouldn't we eat their meat? Because it's messed up. Are you kidding me? It doesn't matter who's gonna be at the party, you don't 
You don't eat people. You just don't do it. Who's doing this shit? The host then asked Perry for a few more details. So she obliged. It was a huge, lavish feast. Oh my god. The featured dish was what they called foie humaine. You guys should appreciate that. Being French, it's a pun on foie gras. Get it? Wow. But instead of force feeding a duck and then eating its liver, this was the liver of a human who had force fed themselves on junk food. This is messed up. This cannibalistic confession is one of many brushes with the dark side that Katy Perry has been having recently. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this story and if it's true or false. This is discussion, not just me talking to a camera, so I want to hear what you guys have to say. Leave your comments below. Now, Fox fans, I want to bring this to your attention. There are many conspiracy theories that you can check out that show Katy Perry giving satanic hand gestures in her music videos and in interviews all the way to Illuminati symbolism. So I highly recommend checking that out. I put links in the description below. She's definitely come a long way from her humble beginnings as a Christian country singer to a satanic pop star. And many who have seen this story are claiming this is just a sign of things to come from the Illuminati and they are moving on to their second phase, whatever that might be. So that is this week's What The Fox Friday Frightener just for you Fox fans. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Also, let me know if there's any stories that you want me to cover. I want to talk about what you guys want to see. So put your pause on that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel so you know when I release future episodes of What The Fox. Hit that like button and let me know that you liked this episode and I'll see you on the next episode of What The Fox. I'm the Fox Fox saying, Fox off.